Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I make working mom content here on YouTube. I have a typical nine to five job. I work Monday through Friday and I work remotely. I have a five-year-old who just started kindergarten and a preschooler who is three. So my kids previously went to the same daycare and now they are at two different schools and Chase is in elementary. So our routine is very different these days. So I wanted to share what our after school and nighttime routine look like. So at about 3.40, I got home from picking up my son Chase from the elementary school and I just unpack his lunch and I check in his folder. They send home what he did and worked on during the day in the folder along with any notes or things that I need to see. And then Chase will wash his hands as per usual. And then I typically will get him a snack because he's hungry. And so he's having some popcorn today. And then usually he is so exhausted from the day and just needs to kind of decompress as do I normally. So um, I allow him to kind of just hang out on the couch and watch his iPad. So while he's doing that, I am just going to wrap up work for the day because I have to pick up Chase from school at three o'clock now. I just need to make sure that I make up that time after he gets home from school. So I usually just wrap up any projects that are going on. And after that, I'm just going to go and clean up his lunchbox and make his lunch for the next day of school. Now it is 4.30 and Quinn just got home from daycare. My husband picked her up on his way home from work just because it's kind of across town from where we live. So it just made more sense because she's on the way and she is just dancing and having a great time. And just like Chase, she's gonna wash her hands and then I'm gonna get a snack for her and she'll also watch her iPad for a little while while I start dinner. Yeah, I'm strapped in, stuck in a song. You can't turn off like a miracle round.
So tonight I made the kids just some easy tacos with some refried beans and some strawberries. And we actually decided not to all sit down and eat dinner as a family tonight. This first week of school has been so incredibly draining for I think everybody. And Pete wanted to do a workout and then I actually didn't wanna have tacos. I wanted to have a salad for dinner. So it just made more sense to make the kids dinner. They were hungry right away. And then me and Pete will eat separately as well. Sometimes we do this and sometimes we eat all together as a family. It just kind of depends on the day. On these really stressful days, I feel like I just need a brain break, like working all day long and then coming home and making dinner and fully being on 24 seven. I just need like, you know, 30 minutes to just sit quietly, eat my dinner, watch maybe something on YouTube and just decompress a little bit before I have to, you know, help out with bath time and bedtime and all that stuff. So the kids are done eating. And in the meantime, I have just cleaned up everything from dinner and I got the kids a little dessert. They just had a Rice Krispie treat. Summer's gone, I'm latching on Don't even know your name But you're still in my head Underneath rays of gold Your body oh so close No, I can't forget, no When I saw you on the dance floor Oh, I saw you who saw me first I guess it's history now and I shouldn't care but it still hurts I didn't realize the danger Cause you're the end of the rainbow And the music was so loud Girl, you should wear a name tag Cause all I wanna do is to know your name Girl, you should wear a name tag That's the only way that I can show you So now the kitchen is cleaned up and my husband actually took the kids up to have a bath. Usually we split responsibilities, either I'll make dinner and he'll give the bath or he'll make dinner and I will do the bath. And now I am going to make dinner for myself. As I mentioned before, I wanted to have a salad this night. So I just have some chopped up romaine lettuce. I have some salami that I chopped up along with some pepperoni. I also did a hard boiled egg and some keto low carb pasta noodles. I also threw in some Mexican cheese and some croutons. And then I make this really delicious vinaigrette dressing from scratch that I just put on there. And it is so good. This is one of my favorite salads and it fills me up. It's got healthy fats. It's perfect. So now I'm just gonna hang out and eat my dinner in peace while the kids are up taking a bath. At this point, it is about 6.25 and I am done with dinner and the kids are done with their bath. So they're just hanging out in the living room, watching something on TV and just playing with toys and everything. I actually got Quinn this really cute nap mat. She's just started a new daycare, so they ask you to bring a nap mat so she really loved it anyway i'm gonna have a little dessert i have these coconut bites that i got from costco they are so so delicious and i also have a little lindor chocolate ball i try to eat low carb for the most part so dark chocolate and things that are low carb are my jam and these two are so delicious so once I am done eating my dessert, I'm gonna go and take a shower and kind of start the winding down process. After I take my shower, I am gonna do a very minimal skincare routine. So I basically just use this Paula's Choice toner on my face and then I follow it up with some Cetaphil moisturizing face lotion and then I use a little bit of an under eye cream from the brand Banish and then I top it all off with just a little bit of coconut oil. It's around seven o'clock and I am just gonna hang out with my kids on the couch. I made them some popcorn and we're just watching the movie Sing. And usually the kids will sit there for a little while, but most of the time they get up and they start playing around. And then around eight o'clock, we start to head upstairs and begin the kids' nighttime routine. So here I am, I'm just gonna pull the shades down in Quinn's room. And actually 
just wanted to show you this massive spider that has been living on Quinn's window. <laughs> and it caught a dragonfly last week, which was really cool to watch. Anyway, Quinn's gonna brush her teeth. And at the same time, Pete is helping Chase brush his teeth and get ready for bed. Before we tuck the kids in, I like to pick out their outfits for the next day so that it's one less thing to have to worry about. And sometimes Chase likes to get himself dressed when he gets up, so that's one last thing that I have to do. So I'm just gonna pick out Quinn's little outfit and then turn off her sound machine, give her a big hug and some kisses, and I'll do the exact same thing for Chase. Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life. Having dreams in a dream, I wonder why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind. There's a way I can undo what I've done. Can we be strangers again? Start fresh like a morning. What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mind yourself. The kids are all tucked in bed and it's about 8.15 right now. So I'm gonna take about an hour and just relax on the couch and unwind. Right now I am watching Love is Blind UK. It is quite good. I highly suggest if you're looking for something to watch that is a little bit mindless. It's really crazy to think, but this is literally the only hour of my day aside from the morning when I read that I have kind of quiet to myself so I really treasure this time and after I watch my one hour of TV I'm gonna go and read my Kindle for a little while I start my day and end my day the same way I love to read when I get up in the morning and I also like to read right before bed and as I mentioned earlier in the video this week has been extremely stressful as we start a brand new routine and also so emotional having my little kindergarten go off to school for the first time. So I've been having such a hard time falling asleep. So I've been using Aura, which is a mindfulness and sleep app. It recently won the best of Apple award and it's been used by over 7 million people. And to help me fall asleep, I've been listening to their huge library of sound baths and ASMR. It's really helped to calm and quiet my mind and really helped to reduce that anxiety that I have about the next day and the car rider line. And and making sure the kids get to school on time and that I'm prepared for work, all of those things. It's the only app that I found that has so much variety and personalization. I can customize what makes me fall asleep easier. It has hundreds of different things outside of helping to fall asleep. There's a lot of morning meditations that I love to listen to when I wake up. There's also a ton of focus and productivity content that I use for work. You can get started for free on Aura's website using my special link in the description box below. The first 500 people get a free trial plus an exclusive 25% off. So go check it out right now. I know you're going to love Aura just as much as I do. So that's the end of the video guys. It's about quarter to 10 and I'm heading to sleep and getting ready to wake back up super early tomorrow morning. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you in the next one.